Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 10 of my 3D printed scrap metal sculpture inspired alien xenomorph suit. In previous episodes, I've printed an entire arm in both NinjaFlex flexible filament and rigid ABS using the Lulzbot Taz with a Fexi Dually extruder. This means I can merge both types of materials together in one print. Last time, I worked on this shoulder piece, and in previous episodes, I've also worked on the head and a gimbal that mounts onto this stick. So today we're going to continue with the shoulder and the chest piece and we're going to try and get some ribs and a breastbone onto this. So let's have a look at some CAD. So here's the first part which is going to be the main breastbone structure and uh, this is going to be printed in NinjaFlex rubber so it's going to be printed in not quite solid but not completely solid so something like 60% solid NinjaFlex and I'm really hoping that we can print this without support material so that we can get this um, tube here to uh, stand up and all of the overhangs to print fine in NinjaFlex. Obviously it's quite a flexible material so if you stack up really thin parts you do have some problems with wobble as the extruder drags the piece around um, if you don't let it cool enough. But these are quite thick pieces so I think it's going to be okay. Uh, and the aim of this is that we attach um, ribs to the side of it eventually which we'll print after that. And the um, tube down the middle is going to hold a piece of actual conduit. So instead of making my own flexible tubes like I did for the shoulders out of hybrid prints, I'm actually going to use some off-the-shelf conduit, um, which is about 22 mil in diameter. And that's going to fit down the side. Obviously, it will show through the holes. Um, and that's going to make a nice flexible curved piece to um, make the main breast bone assembly. And if we have a, actually have a look at Alien, we can see that that conduit runs down uh, below the uh, breastbone, right down into the cod plate. That'll probably be cut there and be a separate piece. And it also runs up the top end right up into the neck. So this is going to basically cover a small section of it on the breastbone. So uh, let's print that off on the Lulzbot Taz with the Flexi Struder in Ninja Flex. It's going to be printed in black, of course, as with the rest of the parts. And hopefully that'll fit our conduit nicely. So here's uh, the dummy that I put this thing on last time. I've got my piece of conduit here. We've also got the uh, fantastically printed part, in fact. It's come out really well. The overhangs all worked um, and everything looks really good. Obviously it's Ninja Flex, so it's really flexible. And um, basically um, I couldn't really have hoped for anything better there. It took about six hours to print because I did go quite slowly on the overhangs. But it's come out pretty perfectly. So um, it's gonna fit my conduit fine, so. And we'll just press on there, so that gives us this uh, more alien looking thing, and of course it's flexible. So we can just stretch that over, it's going to be coupled onto the top there, just where the shoulders meet, and sort of bend down in that fashion. So from the side, hopefully you can just see that there, it gives us quite a nice profile. So the next part, as I mentioned, is the ribs, which are the blue parts shown here. These are going to be printed in rigid ABS plastic rather than NinjaFlex. Um, and there's obviously going to be six of them on each side of the breastbone there. Um, so I can't make a hybrid print out of both these parts together because of course it won't fit uh, flat on the print bed. So just put the ground plane on there. So they really do have to be made in separate parts and stuck on later. Um, but to make sure I can stick them on, what I've done is subtract one part from the other um, in 123D design here. So that if I just get rid of this uh, breastbone piece, we can see that we've got this kind of handy notch left in the middle there. Let me just zoom in, which um, fits the breastbone perfectly. So effectively these are gonna plug in and latch on to that breastbone piece. That means they'll be really super easy to glue on. So I've separated out two here, which you can see um, nearest the screen. Um, and those are printed flat on the bed, so obviously I've turned them around to be printed. And we need to print six for each side, which might take quite some time. So I'll print those and then we'll have a look at them in real life. So I've printed all my ribs. Now four of these took over six hours to print. I managed to squeeze four of them on the bed at a time. So I've done four six hour prints, uh, sorry, three six, six hour prints. So just over 18 to 20 hours of printing um, to get all these made to go on either side of my nice breastbone piece. Obviously these are gonna go, this goes up this way and the ribs point downwards on each side. 
So what we should find, in fact these are the wrong way round, what I've got is a notch in the bottom there that's going to um, be fixed onto a piece I haven't designed yet which plugs into the back of the suit. So these in fact go this way with the handy cutout that I made there which has come out pretty well. That plugs into the ribs, so this rib goes this way and then these pieces plug in. So I'm going to plug all these together. I was going to glue them in um, and eventually I probably will, but for now it's a pretty good fit. And obviously this being flexible means these can be moved around and they kind of plug in, they're quite secure. So let me plug all those together and then we'll see how that fits with the suit and then we need to make up some mountings. And there we have all of the ribs attached. So here we go, here's, here's the rib section, which of course fits on here. So the top of this is gonna couple onto the triangular shape piece there that holds the stick. Just turn this conduit round so that the conduit can continue up to the neck. And the bottom is gonna fit onto the bottom of my stick holder, which was um, a rigid piece attached to a piece of Ninja Flex, which is one of the hybrid prints. So that's gonna fix between those two points. And then of course what we need to do is get all these ribs to go back at a nice angle. So being flexible in the middle here, we can of course bend them around, which is good, um, but there's no actual way of tying them up at the moment. So they'll be tied up onto side panels I haven't made yet, which will of course stop them from hanging forward. So it's gonna sort of look more like this. Any real way I can show it at the moment is by holding them in place to give um, these big mechanical ribs. So here is my top and bottom clip for the conduit and the piece with the Mickey Mouse ears goes at the top in the middle of the two shoulder tubes and that um, obviously those are the end caps for the tubes and there's a grippy bit there. This actually goes upside down and the peg sticking up goes over the hole which you may remember which was going to be to bungee the stick to the front of the triangle so that's what that's for and the other little piece goes at the very bottom of the conduit on the uh, rigid piece that's bonded to the Ninja Flex so that I can put a tie through and tie that conduit to the bottom. So let's get those printed, we'll stick them on and we'll also think about what ties the ribs back. So I'm printing this part on the Lulzbot AO101 which is my slightly older 3D printer. It's still going strong and working perfectly well. And the reason for that is that there's something else big being printed on the Taz which is for a video next week. So here are the parts I've printed. Here's my part with this Mickey Mouse ears, and that piece goes just on here. So these things effectively are the ends of the hoses, and this little peg here goes over the hole so I can tie my bungee through to the stick which goes through the middle. And this tiny piece here, which has got a little cavity underneath, that piece just is going to be fixed on there so I can tie around the conduit. Um, and that's got a rounded piece at the inside there to fit the conduit on nicely. So I'm going to acetone weld these on as usual. So I'm just going to clean up the back of that one so it's nice and flat. That's going to get acetone welded on there so it's all ABS plastic. So as before we can just take some acetone and we can probably just stick that straight on. And there we go, that's stuck fairly quickly and that will make a chemical weld which will be fairly permanent. Just put a bit more acetone around there and we'll do to the same to the other one and then we'll get that conduit attached and then we can start thinking about putting the ribs on a permanent bearing at each side. So I've fitted my conduit here, it's clipped into the uh, clip between the Mickey Mouse ears at the top and it's just cable tied onto the little bracket at the bottom. So now my really bendy breastbone can be fitted over this and obviously I would glue it on but actually if I can pull these ribs back it will hold itself in place so I don't have to, eventually it will be glued on. Um, at the moment it falls off of course because it falls forward. So all I need to do is tie up the end of all these ribs Eventually they'll be fitted onto the backpack that has the dorsal tubes and the tail mounted on it. But for now we can just um, put some elastic between them and hold them in place. Um, but obviously I need um, a kind of end thing or an edge thing that goes down here. So 
that allows them all to be fixed back at the right angle. Um, that's not the simplest task due to the contour that we've now got across the breastbone, so you'll notice these don't come back straight, they go at a nice angle, but all of the edges on them are straight or at other weird angles. So it's going to be a bit of a design challenge to make a thing that um, actually ties those together. So after quite a bit of thought I came up with a really simple solution um, for anchoring these ribs at the right pitch. Um, which is simply um, a straight thing which is straight in one axis and can be printed straight on the printer bed. And then the hooks vary in height to make the slight contour of where the ribs need to tie back to. Um, so this is going to be obviously flat, but we could heat this plastic and bend it in a contour in the other direction if we need to. So um, I've actually put a, a steel ruler along the um, ribs and I think they're going to be okay in a straight line, but if I need to shape it up in the future when I do the back of the suit then I can. And I've done this before, just heating the plastic with a hot air gun and bending it into shape. So we've got six hooks there to hook on the ribs and each one has a tiny hole or a pair of holes. Um, so we can put um, a piece of elastic or something in there to stop them slipping out. Now we've also got these two other rings which are for tying it back and those are going to hook onto the back of the suit. But in the short term I can just put some elastic or something in there to hold it in place. So let's print those off and see how they fit. So there are the pieces installed, there's one on each side. Obviously now we've got this kind of shaped uh, piece where the ribs come back to and these are all on hooks, they just hook off here. So they fit on pretty well and I have to just put a little tie on each one just to make sure they don't pop out. And as I said, these hooks will hook onto the back of the suit where eventually we'll have the dorsal tubes and a mount for the tail. So this is quite flexible. If I turn this around, we can see that we've got quite a lot of flexibility in there, which will be quite good. So it's comfortable and we've got lots of motion and hopefully um, when we bend around, the ribs will all flex with us. So here's my head, which of course goes onto its gimbal goes on that stick and that's mounted between the stick and the top of my head so hopefully that gives you some idea of what it's going to be like we've got this piece of conduit here which will be shortened and that'll be made into the continuation of this piece we've got under the chin there that curls up and I think next time I'm going to be building that part which covers the metal brackets and basically covers up where my head is which makes the neck for Alien and after that I'll be getting on with finishing the missing head sections so hopefully then I've got something that I can at least partially wear, even if it is just the front and the, and the head of the, um, the torso and the head there with the neck. So that's all I've got for this video, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page and check out my other social media pages in the link in the description to this video for more information on this project and other projects. You can check out my Hulkbuster giant Iron Man suit my other Iron Man suit and lots of other projects in my channel.